Oh, I got a fish! Oh! <laughs> I think they're fake. I think they're Listen, fish. You catch out here. Fake. First one. Look at that beautiful fish on a drop shot. <laughs> Guys, I think this is a viral video. I think we got it. Let me show you guys. <laughs> Luke Master. All gassed up. We're ready to get this fishing trip on the way, guys. Today we're actually going out on Lake Lanier. I got a special guest today. It's gonna be an awesome trip. I'm gonna take you guys along with it, vlog the whole thing, try to teach you guys a little bit of something about Lake Lanier. It's gonna be a great video, so stay tuned. Be sure to turn on post notifications and hit that subscribe button. As you guys can tell, I'm not in the new truck. I'm actually in my old truck, but let me tell you why. I actually don't have a hitch for my old truck. I need a specific drop hitch. I haven't been able to get it yet, so I'm actually towing the old Tundra to Today for one of the last times so this is actually very very neat so we're actually towing this today we're gonna be towing the boat with the old tundra we're gonna be getting out of there on the water super pumped about it let's go ahead and get this video started Just made it out on the water and behind the camera we got our mystery man today which is uh let me let me show you guys <laughs> luke master <laughs> just got all in the water guys and behind the camera we got the man the myth the legend <laughs> fluke master let me let me show you guys yeah it's me i got here go let me fishing. hey let me, yeah the sun's right behind me how's that sun for you guys turn, you turn like right that here. This <laughs> so we got fluke master right here we're out on lake lanier today what are we doing today man i just want to catch a big spot I literally have never caught a big spot on Lanier. I've caught more big largemouth on this lake than I have spotted bass. A lake that's known for spotted bass. So, so I actually took him out here last year. We had a we had a great time. Honestly, oh, yeah, it was it was a blast. We caught a lot of fish, but one thing that we didn't catch was big ones. So, I mean, we had what we had a few that were like three, three and a quarter. Yeah, but nothing. But we didn't have nothing massive. We didn't have any four pound spots, five pound spots. So that is our goal today. That's what we're gonna go out and do. You guys look at the conditions. As you can tell, super cloudy outside. Got a little ripple on the water. There's a little bit of wind pushing today, and the sun's coming up right now, so we're about to get out there. Hopefully, get a little bit of top water action. Um, we're gonna, I've, I have a feeling we're going to be throwing some swim baits today. And the water is and, crystal uh, clear. That is the truth. I bet it's 20 foot crystal, visibility. Crystal clear water. <laughs> Lanier, is, Lanier is supreme, clean water. Lanier is amazing. It's awesome. But we're probably going to fade towards a swim bait today. That's probably what we're going to be doing. I know in the last episode we were talking about swim baits, but. We're probably going to be throwing some today with this ripple on the water. So let's go ahead and get out there and see what we can throw together. By the way, this guy right here, if you guys aren't subscribed to his channel, Fluke Master. His name's Gene Jensen, if you guys don't know, but I, you guys know who this guy is. But go give him. Do, but there's still listen, a lot of people that don't. You know what's crazy? Mm -hmm. So this morning when he was getting his little breakfast burrito, somebody comments on my Instagram story, I took a picture of your truck last night. They're like, is that your new truck? <laughs> I was like, no, that's Fluke Master. You gotta go check them out on YouTube. So there are some people, but that's that's why we collab, guys. We're trying to share the love. We're trying to bring people on both of our channels. We're gonna have a lot of videos coming soon. But I'm gonna stop talking. Let's get this video started. Starting this off right now, I actually have a little gunfish on. It's actually chrome. Usually and when conditions are like this, when it's super cloudy, I'm not gonna throw a chrome. I usually fade towards a bone color or a white. But today I, I had the chrome on. I'm gonna give it a try because I have seen it where some days they eat the chrome better. We're gonna start off with this just to see what we can do. We're gonna see if we can get some to come up. The fish are gonna be super scattered today since it's super cloudy. But I'm gonna start off with this top water and then I'm gonna move over to a swim bait, see if we can call some up. Feels like I'm almost on some fishing line. I got you, are you stuck now? They're not wanting to come up. Throwing a fish head on them. Reeled at a different water column. You got a drop shot on. Twinkie stick. There you go. Is he a big one? You never know with spots. You want me to get a net? Yeah, get net. <laughs> it looks like you got a good one. Fluke's hooked up. Yeah, that's a good one too. He keeps getting me in the brush pile. Get him out. Oh yeah. Oh, <laughs> there you go, baby. First one, look at that beautiful fish on a drop shot. 
we've got his first one, first one of the day. Beautiful spot. Look at that thing. I want you to look inside. You get a gut hooked fish. I'm gonna show you guys how to get a hook out of a gut hooked fish without killing it. Okay, take your pliers, go in under the back gill. See how I'm going in? I'm finding that back gill. Actually, that one's a little too tight. Let's go in between these two. Let's find a way we can get to. All right, go through the gills and get in there real good. This one's hard to film, so we're gonna do it best we can. Grab hold of the hook, flip it over. Another thing is, guys, if you take that plastic out yep. as well, you, so you can see a little bit better. Yep. If I couldn't see the hook, I would take the plastic out. Grab it. Probably not the best pliers to do this with, but rotate it, and you see how that hook came out? You rotate it and pull it, pull it out like this out of the gut. No blood. And a beautiful fish right there. Good yep. job. Here you go, brother. Sweet. Good job. Since it's summertime, we ain't putting them in the box. Oh my god, look at that little school. Holy smokes. Look at that. Look at all the babies. Luke's gonna get one on a drop shot. <laughs> look how small they are. Well, he's still looking at it. Alright guys, I don't know if you guys can see this. We're in about 20 foot right here. There's a brush pile. We got some fish right here. Fluke just dropped down with his drop shot. We're gonna see if he can hook one. You got him? <laughs> you made it happen. He's a little guy though. He's a little guy. Well, you guys just witnessed it. We'll drop shot right down on the fish. Uh-oh, Fluke's hooked up again as I'm rigging up. <laughs> Is he a good one, man? He's a better one. Oh, yeah. How big? Big enough to get the net. Net man, cameraman, coming at you. Oh, boy. Ah! That was some good ones down there. Yes, sir. It's Little so fatty deep. right there. Look, good job. Let me explain to you why I love spotted bass fishing. They always feel two to three pounds heavier than they really are. That is the truth. That is only the truth right there. And that's because of that big old wide tail that they have. Wow. Mm. That's a nice fish, man. Hold. Show my camera. Do it. Luke's gonna get a release on that pretty guy. Luke literally just hooked that fish as I was tying my drop shot on. It's gonna be one of those days, guys. Slow fishing, drop shot. Let's get it started. So throw a little update at you guys. Three fish so far, only three fish. It's been really rough. There's a lot of boats out here today and this guy caught them all. He sucks. <laughs> this guy literally caught them all. And I just don't understand. I, I'll get a bite and nothing, but all on a drop shot, all on a purple, throw, show them the worm that you're throwing. Let me find it. It's a robo worm. All on a purple robo worm Freaking right there. Purple worm. Literally every, every fish he's caught, he hasn't, have you had a bite on anything else? No, and, they, literally eat, and they eat it. And I just, I don't get it. I had a pink robo worm on, I tied a drop shot on, and I had three bites. And some of them just, either they nibbled at it or they bit it in half. I don't know what's going on. Exactly, right there, that explains it all. <laughs> but we're about to go try to catch a few more fish. Let's see, let's see if we can throw together. He's gonna have to prove that he actually catches big fish. I, I, I know, I just, honestly, I just, I should give up after this. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna be, you know, fishing, fishing guy anymore. I just might have to go play, you know, baseball or something. Tugging, man. You were getting ready to leave this spot. And throw one more cast. Like, come on, man. Put a little brush pile over the other side. All right. I give it to you. I give it to you. And I got his eye, too. No, he ain't got no eye. No, it's because I got him. Oh, no, he doesn't. I yeah. He ain't got an eye. Oh, my gosh. I catch a zombie bass. <laughs> <laughs> I caught a zombie bass. Oh, man. Title. Guys, I think this is the viral video. I think we got it. I a zombie bass. Ah. Literally a zombie spot. I think that's the first ever. It's gonna go viral. All right, ladies and gentlemen, there's a little zombie bass, one eye, one eye willy. Little tiny dude. Let's get it back in the water. There he goes. Yeah, I'm bolting eye. Yeah, 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 I did see that. Get him, Fluke! Get him! Get him! Oh my God! Get him, Fluke! Oh, he's got him! Oh, that's dead, Steve. Is he a big one? Oh, he's going to give on a show. There you go. He's going to put on a show. Little baby guy He's on the blue fish. drop shot. That's that's five fish on the drop shot. See the bait fish he just spit out. Look how fat he is. He's been eating good today. 
<laughs> little baby. Look at his little stomach on him. Little dude! We are about to throw big old glide bait right here. Okay. Ah. Rod just wants to sit right there for a hot minute while I cast this big boy. Nice man, nice. Where's a fish, bro? That's a fish. You got a fish. Oh, I got a fish. Were you dead sticking a drop shot? Yeah, I know how to dead stick it now. I know the secret way. Oh, he's a freaking slunch. Oh, he's not too big. He's. He's a decent one though. He's All right, so so I know what to do now. I know the secret, and everybody's about to be revealed the secret. All right, <laughs> on the old drop shot. So what's the secret, no? So the secret is this is the secret. We're gonna have to show you guys up close and personal, but you gotta cast out there. You gotta let it sink all the way down. You set your rod down. All right, and just and just watch that line just take off. All right, and you're you're throwing it through top water. Your swim baits and voila. That's how you get a fish right there. That's how you do it. Pro tips. Here we go, guys. A little beautiful fish. I'm gonna get Fluke Master to get a little release on her. Here, let me try your technique. All right, Fluke's down. trying it, and he's gonna win. I told you you had to dead stick him. <laughs> beautiful little fish. Nothing really big, but he's got a fat old little belly. Show on the drop shot. I think this is what, number seven? Seven or eight? Mm -hmm. On the drop shot. There he goes, there he goes. Let's go, baby! <laughs> All right, Fluke, so <laughs> what, what, what's happening right now? What are we doing? We're going home. <laughs> Actually, we're going to go to Bass Pro Shops because I need us some split, split ring pliers. What else were we going to pick up? Uh, split ring pliers. I think that's it. Oh, uh, Maybe scale. some tackle. I, I might pick up some tackle too, some mystery tackle, so stay tuned for that video. Well, he needs to pick up something he can catch fish with because he couldn't catch fish today. That's true. That's true. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, people. So we are we are ending off today. It was it was fun, you know. It was fun. It wasn't the Lake Lanier that I'm used to. Whatever. Fluke Master kicked my butt. I I'll just I think all these fake fish right, you I'm, catch out here are fake. Hand. You're shaking my hand. Listen, I, I think they're fake. I think the fish you catch out here are fake. <laughs> expose me, man. Expose me. <laughs> I was telling him in his video every time we come out here to try to film like a specific video. Like if I have him out or I had Norm come out, it's just something always happens. It's just they're not biting. And then I'll watch, I'll come out tomorrow and catch like 20 pounds. Yeah. That's yeah. just fishing and for when you guys. But and when you catch them on a drop shot dead sticking, you know the yeah, bite's it's, hard. Yeah, it was super tough today. It wasn't something that, you know, it wasn't just a standard day on Lanier. It was actually really tough out here. It wasn't, it wasn't an easy day whatsoever. Once we got out here, you know, it was a lot of clouds. And on Lake Lanier and on these herring lakes, you got to understand that those fish are roaming hard. It's not, you know, I was telling him, if we're on chick right now, It'd be killer, like how it yeah. was in the morning. Yeah, herring are and very nomadic, so they move a lot, and the bass follow them, which is crazy, which makes it hard to find fish. To be able to be successful on this lake, you got to be a good fisherman. You got to be a really good. It's fisherman. it's a tough it's a tough fishery. It's a really tough fishery, but that's perfect because you learn a lot when you come out here. It's different than any place out there. You know, Lake Lanier is beautiful as well. It's clear water, as you can tell in the background. It's just an awesome fishery, and I got the river back in Savannah where I actually have my house, so that's perfect. I mean, it's two polar opposites. Literally, but if you guys want to go check out Fluke Master's channel, be sure to do so. Show them a little worm that we're catching them on, by the way. It was a robo worm that I had pulled out of a dusty old box in my house. Uh, bought it a couple years ago when I left Lanier. I said, this is a Lanier color. So it's a robo worm. I errand something or another. It's just purple. So it's purple. Usually I'm using like a morning dawn or like a pink, but today it was totally different. It was like he caught three on that thing. And I was like, I was being so stubborn. I was like, it's, it's time, it's time to switch over. So we had a decent old day. It was all right. Yep. Got them all on a drop shot, but go check out his channel at Fluke Master, Gene Jensen. Man, it was a pleasure having yep, you out. Bro. We're gonna have a lot of videos coming soon, guys. Yep. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya. I got sky like the brother man, uh I crack cars, get hella bands, uh I got a bra from the motherland, uh I got shooters with ass, uh I get it, get it, uh Anyway, uh Pull up skirt in the hurricane, uh I crack cars, cook every day, uh I get money, uh Every day, uh